a moment, let me read you a couple of words. When I first orbited the Earth in 1962, you were still two years from being born. And when I returned to space in 1998, Blue Origin was still two years in the future. But you were already driven by a vision of space travel accessible not only to highly trained pilots, engineers, and scientists, but to all of us. I'm deeply touched that you've named the second generation of those rockets New Glenn. As the original Glenn, I can tell you, I see the day coming when people will board spacecraft the same way millions of us now board jetliners. When that happens, it will be largely because of your epic achievements this year. I get goosebumps every time. You know, he's the first American to orbit Earth, and I've seen that letter hanging in our headquarters building in Kent. Yeah, it's one of our treasured, treasured artifacts. Everybody, we're at T-minus four minutes and 30 seconds to go until launch. We are very close. We are coming up here on terminal count. Do not go anywhere. T minus four minutes and counting. Terminal count active. Safing timer started. ES safing pin disengaged. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds. Upending system armed. Magic charge initiated. Our team is now securing all the commodities to our first stage and our second stage. They're also gonna be draining and purging all the umbilicals that are supplied to New Glenn. Minus three minutes. GS two hydraulic secured. Magic charging complete. T minus 230. GS1 pre press start. We are now pressurizing the tanks to their flight pressures. Of course, this is crucial GS2 for the performance of our engines. Getting ready for launch. T-minus two minutes. We're now going to be switching off the ground power supply and transitioning New Glenn to its internal vehicle batteries. When this happens, the vehicle is now powering itself. Let's do this, New Glenn. Minus one thirty. Power internal. There it is. New Glenn is alive. Minus 60 seconds. Range green. AFSS flight enabled. APU is running. T minus 30 seconds. 
GS1 at flight level. GS2 at flight level. Big water start. <laughs> That's a big water command. There's the water deluge. Here we go, you Glenn. It's time to do this. Let's light this candle. Autopilot enabled. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. <laughs> <laughs> All seven engines have full thrust. Chicken for pressures are good. Vehicles cleared the tower. Now passing 18 seconds into flight. Engine chamber pressures look good. 27 seconds in. Vehicles. Now begun the pitch roll maneuver to point down range. Body rate response is nominal. Chamber pressures continue to look good. Now 40 seconds into flight. Oh my God! <laughs> End of roll straight to now levels. Chamber pressures continue to look good. 50 seconds in. Data quality looks good coming down from the vehicle. Chamber pressures continue to look nominal. One minute into flight. All seven engines continue to look good on the first stage. Data quality is good coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response are nominal. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. As we build a road to space for the benefit of Earth. Profile looks good. Continue to perform well. Now passing one minute, 30 seconds into flight. Passing Mach 1. New Glenn is now supersonic. Engines continue to perform well, now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Body rate responses are nominal throughout the boost phase. Data quality continues to look good. Chamber pressure is looking good. Engines all pass through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The toughest part of the flight on that vehicle, we have now passing two minutes through into it, flight. and New Blend continues Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on all seven B4 engines. Acceleration profile is good. Body rates look good. One minute to Miko. B3U, LH2 chillin' started. The force continue to perform well throughout the boost phase. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. The trajectory is nominal. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Approximately 30 seconds remaining in boost phase. And here we are, coming up Chamber on Nico's on main engine cutoff. Let's stand by for that. You look good. Stage two, RCS priming. Now passing three minutes. And we have Miko. We have stage set. And we have ignition on both B3 use. Chamber pressure is good. Now passing three minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Body rates look good. Data quality coming down from both stages looks good.